In this battle of college football heavyweights, it was Alabama delivering an early, staggering blow on Texas, knocking quarterback Colt McCoy out of the game on the Longhorns' fifth offensive play. But Alabama's first national championship since 1992 proved both hard-hitting and hard-fought, and it was hard not to celebrate the end of a 17-year title drought. I just heard like a thump, like my neck snapped back. I gotta go get treatment on my neck. <laughs> I did lay it down pretty hard. I didn't try to, but that's how the game goes. It was a lot of big hits everywhere. Even from the offense, they were throwing, they were throwing big hits. It showed that it was number one. It showed that we was the best, and that's why we just won the national championship. After Colt got hurt, we obviously were limited in some of the things we could do. And at halftime, uh, the little play before the half, we were trying to throw a little shuffle pass to get down, maybe take a shot in the end zone because we knew points would be hard. And, that one went, went against us, and um, they actually got back in the game with a chance to win with a couple of minutes left to go in the game. So I told them I was really proud of them. I was proud of their fight. I was proud of their toughness, and you can't win games like this with turnovers. One thing I never doubted was the defense. I knew they were going to step up and make a play for us because anytime the game's been close, we've gotten it done, and I'm very proud to, uh, to say that we, we got the victory. Number 13 is, is uh, heading home to Tuscaloosa tomorrow. So, Alabama, one of the game's most storied programs, completes an historic season with their first 14-0 finish, their first Heisman Trophy winner, and their leader Nick Saban becoming the first coach to win national titles with two different schools since polling began in 1936. Mark McKay, CNN, Pasadena, California.